Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at the new Super 7 Masters of the Universe, She-Ra, the most powerful woman in the universe. As seen on TV. As you can see, this is from Super 7's Vintage Masters of the Universe line. It's same size scale, same... Uh, same basic structure and everything of the vintage figures, but with the animated look. Uh, I've been wanting to get my hands on these for a while since they were announced. I was lucky enough to be able to get all four of the first wave. I do plan on getting Hero and Eldor at some point, and then Series 2 this summer. Uh, and as you can see, the packaging is based around the same vintage Mattel packaging uh, from what I remember and from what I've seen from John's collection uh, looks almost identical there's a few differences but nothing really to be concerned about I did order this off of Big Bad Toy Store and as you can see it's unpunched on the back we have a nice little scene. Shira is attacked by Hordak and his evil horde troopers. Super7.com. Masters of the Universe 5.5 inch action figures, 13.97 centimeters. Collect them all, each sold separately. We have the heroic warriors, He Man and Shira. From the evil warriors, we have Skeletor, which we already looked at him and He Man. We have Hordak. And we have Hero and Eldor. Uh, twist Shira's waist and make her swing her sword of protection. And protect herself with her shield. Very cool. Let's go ahead and open the package up and take a look at Shira. Now I do have a small confession to make. I did not buy this for myself. I purchased it for my wife along with Hordak uh, for her collection. She was a big She-Ra fan back in the day. Um, you know, we kind of share our collections. Um, but she had Swift Wind that I got her for Christmas. And I wanted her to have She-Ra as well. Only a more cartoon accurate She-Ra. But as you can see, it does come with a card uh, rather than a mini comic. Masters of the Universe She-Ra. From toy to tune, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe brought action and adventure into living rooms around the world. And the fun continued with exciting Masters of the Universe action figures. In order to deliver the cartoon series on time, the toy designs were simplified for animation. So that the figures did not always match the characters children saw on TV until now. As you can see here, shows the original She-Ra figure along with the uh, original animated version for the com uh, fit toy commercials and then the filmation version. The characters of She-Ra Princess of Power were developed simultaneously for toys and animation. The She-Ra action figure was far too complex for animation and was streamlined to a stylized symmetrical design focused on the core elements of the character very cool I never really did like the uh, toy version of Shira uh, she, she didn't look like Shira at all you know with the Masters of the Universe figures they at least resembled the characters but Shira didn't really look like Shira <laughs> but I digress as you can see Shira did come in kind of a half bag to protect her legs. We'll go ahead and stand her up. If we can get her to stand right, we'll lean her against there for now. And we got a little baggie of her weapons. Let's go ahead and open that up and take a look. It looks like she comes with 
her sword of protection right here you can tell it's a sword of protection because of the jewel in the center but she also comes with a power sword he-man's power sword it looks like only scaled down to fit her hand uh, she also comes with her shield as well let's go ahead and move those over to the side and we'll take a look at she-ra now one thing you should notice it right away is she has more of tila's uh sculpt really other than you know the skirt and the headwear but it's pretty much the the main portion of her body is pretty much tila's sculpt um her legs are slightly loose uh they do not Well, it does look like they're supposed to bend out. There we go. They do bend out a little bit. Let's try not to break it, though. Bend out a little bit. And go up. <laughs> Just about like that, really. That's They don't really come up like uh, the He-Man and Skeletor figures. Uh, her arms go straight up like this. Uh, kind of weird. Looks like she's... Uh, doing a uh, <laughs> very feminine salute <laughs> and her other arm comes up like that she does have an action feature right there at the waist uh, her head also turns but her hair keeps from keeps it from going all the way around let's go ahead and fit her power sword in her hand right there and we'll put her shield right there. And I'm not sure how, the, how that's supposed to protect her. Um, she can't bend her arm. <laughs> but let's go ahead and aim this down a little bit. And we'll zoom in on her. There we go. Um, she does stand okay. I don't really care for her left arm, though. Uh, they should have probably had it a little bit more bent, since that's an arm that her shield goes on. Uh, they should have also probably had it out a little bit more. Uh, she does, as you can see, have a cloth cape that is, I think, glued onto the back of her neck. Uh, the design... Her paint job and everything, very nice. I really like it. And there is really no place for uh, her power sword, the, you know, He-Man's power sword to go on her. It just kind of sits there. Uh, let's go ahead and bring in Swiftwind from the Vintage figure line. I have not yet determined how these wings are supposed to go on her, on Swiftwind. If they're just supposed to sit like that, or what, or if there's supposed to be another band around the bottom, I don't know. But we'll go ahead and just leave the wings on just like that. Okay. This, as I said, this is from the vintage line, uh, the original 80s collection. We'll go ahead and put Shira on Swift Wind. Just like that. She does. She does okay. Let's go ahead. There we go. She does okay on there. Not bad. Uh, she sits fairly it looks like she's sitting on her on swift wind fairly well uh, she balances anyway uh, let me know what you guys think about those wings uh, how they're actually supposed to be on swift wind if I've got them on right or if they're supposed to be another band around the bottom or whatever uh, as I said I got this off of eBay for my wife for Christmas because she she used to have swift wind and that's something she wanted 
uh, for Christmas. And that's why I ended up getting her Shira uh, as well. So anyway, there you have it, guys. From the Masters of the Universe Super 7 Vintage Line Action Figures, She-Ra, the most powerful woman in the universe. Tune in next time when we take a look at Hordak. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, make sure you check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic Getting TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.